I didn't realize it while I was filming, but I apparently turned myself into the Headless Horseman for this experiment. That's how it goes, I guess. Anyway, for this experiment, I'm lighting the Bunsen burner to do the classic burning magnesium experiment. I have a strip of magnesium, and you will see it glows bright white. You may have seen a similar phenomenon in fireworks. Also, my hand is well behind the Bunsen burner, but it kind of looks like it's almost in the flame from this angle. But don't worry, I did use my brain this time. So now we can examine our final product. You can see it's no longer hot. We still have a little bit of metal left. That's where it was grasping, but there's something else here. This substance here has created something else. A new substance was formed. Since it's burning magnesium, most people think of it as a combustion reaction, but it's actually not. But it's not a combustion reaction. We actually created something new. It's a synthesis reaction. Here I am showing you the same reaction from a different angle. I had to adjust the air intake to the Bunsen burner to raise the temperature of the flame. In this reaction, magnesium is reacting with the oxygen in the air, but that doesn't happen spontaneously. Sometimes for reactions to start, you need to add some or a lot of energy. This is what's known as activation energy. It gives the atoms and molecules enough oomph to get the reaction going. This reaction also produces a lot of heat. A reaction that produces heat is called an exothermic reaction. So here we have the equation for this reaction. 2Mg plus O2 makes 2MgO. So two atoms of magnesium plus one O2 molecule rearranges and make two, makes two MgO or magnesium oxide atoms. So in this reaction, magnesium is reacting with the oxygen in the air and forming magnesium oxide. Also, sometimes you get some magnesium nitride in the, from the nitrogen in the air. That's usually a greenish yellow powder. And most of we, what we saw was a fine white powder, which is magnesium oxide. Fun fact, when you combine magnesium oxide with water, it forms magnesium hydroxide, which is an antacid and a mild laxative. And I always have some people who don't know what that means, but um, in an antacid, it means that it helps with heartburn and settles down the burning sensation of the stomach acid, and a laxative um, helps when things are a little too slow on the other end of the digestive system. So, you know, useful chemistry all around. Anyway, the point is that this is a synthesis reaction. We have two separate things that combine into one thing, and the equation is balanced. So here you can see that the and most of what we saw was magnesium oxide, or crap, molecule of oxygen. There's a hair on there. The white substance that's formed and some leftover magnesium metal, which is where the tongs were holding it. Tongs were holding it. I can grammar.